guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is my first video with my brand new camera and I'm still learning how to use it. Um, makeup is not my strong suit. This is just the look that I do when I go to work every day. It's really easy, really quick, really simple. I don't always do the duty brown lip, but you know, duty brown is life. So um, thank you again so much for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe. I hope you come back. Leave me comments down in this comment bar down below. Um, you know, like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. All right, so jumping straight into it, we are gonna cleanse our face first. I already washed and moisturized my face this morning, but I started doing some other stuff later on in the day and I felt kind of sticky. So we went in with the micellar cleansing water just to kind of freshen it up a little bit. Um, it's the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. And then next I'm going in with some Target Up and Up Deep Clean Toner just to kind of open up my pores and get them ready for the moisturizer I'm gonna use. Gonna let that dry as we hang out. Next we're going to go in with some Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Pure Anti-Aging. I don't remember what it's called. I don't have it in front of me. So sorry. Um, but I'll put everything that I'm using in the description box below. So if I don't remember the name of something, please don't shoot me. I promise I will put it down in the description bar below. So you're just going to rub that all in. I put it all over my face. And I kind of bring it down to my neck too because it makes my skin feel so, so nice. And I love it. It's great. And then next... What we're gonna go in with is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. And it's just a primer from MAC, and I actually kind of like this primer. It had a little bit of shimmer to it, and it makes my skin look kind of like dewy and sparkly, and I love that. So we're just gonna take our Beauty Blender and buff it into our skin. Well, not buff it, but like press it into our skin. Um, I sometimes use my fingers, I sometimes don't. It's just really a matter of how I'm feeling that day. Today I wanted to use Beauty Blender. So we're gonna use Beauty Blender. Next, we are going to go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Matte, Matte Poreless Primer in Matte Rescue. This one's kind of like a gel, and I actually really like it. It's really lightweight, it's really silky, and it really, really helps the pores on your face. Like, I have some really big ones on the side of my face, so I like to do this. Um, I don't always go in with two primers, but some days I'm feeling a little extra, and today I was feeling a little extra, so I went in with two. And next, we will color correct our face. As you can see, I have some dark patches on my face. And I am using the LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Conceal Concealer in, I think the color is just called like Orange Corrector, I believe. And um, we just use our damp beauty blender again to like just kind of buff it into the skin. I keep saying buff and I mean press, wow. I'm never gonna get through this voiceover correctly. Oh well, but we're just gonna kind of press it into the skin and blend it out really, really well so that way you don't have like a huge just orange patch on your face. And then, I don't know if I go in and set the slip powder or not, we'll have to see, like, because I'm thinking, I'm not thinking fast enough right now. No, we don't set it with the powder. Normally, I would set my concealer with a powder and then go in with my foundation, but we didn't do that today. So, next, we are going to go in with the Urban Decay, what is this called? The Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation, and I am in the shade 12.0. And we are just going to put it on a big oval blending brush that I just got from the beauty supply store. And it's by She Makeup, S-H-E Makeup. And we're just going to like, I dot it all over my face and then I rub it in. Um, and guys, this foundation is incredible. If for some reason it comes out really, really yellow on camera, and I don't know why, but in real life, it's actually a little, little too red for me. And, but as like the day goes on, it oxidizes a little bit. So it actually works out perfectly. I'm not sure why it's coming out yellow on camera. I'm really sorry, but I promise you, it's not super yellow. It works with my skin tone. It looks really, really great in person. I think it's just the lighting in my bathroom because like three out of my six light bulbs are burnt out at the moment. <laughs> so we're just going to keep buffing that in. And I like, I've literally cut out probably 30 minutes of me just like blending makeup into my skin with beauty blenders and brushes. You don't realize how much of your life you spend blending until you have to sit down and edit a beauty um a beauty tutorial a makeup tutorial and see look i'm still just rambling and rambling and rambling and talking and i'm still just you know blending away making sure it's not streaky making sure it's not patchy and i mean it's not patchy patchy but it's great that didn't make any sense patchy patchy whatever so we're gonna go back in with our la girl cosmetics pro conceal in that same orange color and I'm just using some sort of like dupe brush that looks like a BH Cosmetics brush but it's not a BH Cosmetics brush I got it from Wish and I just use it to dot it all under my eyes and then we go in with our beauty blender and just blend it out 
and I'm not going to keep y'all watching this super, super long because we all know how to blend with a beauty blender, I hope. So next, we're going to go in with our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and y'all, I love this concealer. I actually put on way too much of it, and it took me forever to blend this concealer out. As you can see, I'm like, just kicking it on. Keep going, Dar. Keep going. Just keep kicking it on. And we're going to spritz our beauty blender with some Fix Plus and just go to town blending. And right about here, y'all, is where I realized my camera stopped recording. So I contoured, I baked my face, all that jazz, and it recorded none of it. And you can see how upset I am. Look at that face. Look at that face. I am, I am distraught. So distraught. But we're going to carry on. So we're going to go in and do start with our eyes. We'll finish our eyes because my eyes are already halfway done at this point. But I went in with the Morphe The Little Palette. These are like their little limited edition ones that came out with like four or eight. Yeah, with eight different colors. And then there were like five or six different ones. And I am using the Coffee Toffee one. And then I'm also using the Morphe 350M palette. Um, the crease color you see came from the Coffee Toffee palette. And then the lid color I'm using came from the Morphe 350M palette. If I can get a picture of it and stick it in here and show y'all exactly which colors I used, I will totally do that for y'all as soon as I figure it out. Like I said, I'm still learning how to use iMovie and how to edit things. So I tried to be cute right here and do my eyeliner and my eyebrows all ca my eyebrows off camera because we all know it takes me forever to do my eyeliner and my eyebrows. And I thought that little genie transition was cute, but that's just me. So we're going to go on with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Palette. And I believe I have this palette in the color dark. And we're just going to use that right there and swirl our brush in, tap it off, and hit that little fake-ass half smile. Tap it in. Tap, tap, tap it in. Tap, tap. And then next we are going to go in with our NYX Cosmetics Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. And it is a highlighter stick, and I am using the shade Sandy Glow. And I actually really like the stick. It looks a little harsh on camera. Like, you can see just, like, a harsh line. But it's really not not that bad. I, like, once you blend it in a little bit and you kind of buff it out with a beauty blender, it looks pretty good. And I'm actually really proud of it. So I'm going to continue to use this because I'm not really a person that highlights too, too much. But since I got this, I actually love it. My friend Shelby, my best friend Shelby, actually told me about this. So, hey, girl, how you doing? Shout out to you. Thanks for turning me on to this stick. Because I think she has one by, like, Smashbox that she likes. But I put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and then I put it on my Cupid's bow. And then the color that you see on my lips is called Savage, and it's by NYX, and it's from their Pin Up Pout new lipstick line. And watch this, watch. Ooh, hit him with the slow-mo. Hit them with the slow-mo. I'm serving y'all up all this face right now. Look at me. I'm feeling myself so much right now. Figured out how to do slow-mo, and I'm gonna ruin y'all's lives. Look at me. Look at me. Yes! Work. Work. I'm so proud of how this came out, y'all. Especially for, like, this being my first, like, legitimate video. I don't really count the one that I did last year as a legitimate video. But you know... Look at me, still hitting y'all with this slow-mo. Look at them brows. Look at them brows, and y'all, let's not talk about my edges. I know my edges look bad right now. Hair is not my strong suit. It's really, really not. But I think I look cute, so it don't matter. It don't matter at all. Ooh, slow-mo. This slow-mo is really, really long. I did not realize how long it was. And then you see my hand get caught in my hair. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.